Hopefully you guys have an all day. My name is Roger Hatton. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys tell the title, I'm going to be telling you guys the fastest way to get your diamond pistols. Yep, I know what you're thinking. How the hell did you do that, Wadger? Well, I'm going to tell you guys in this video. Before we jump straight into it, if you guys are new around here, click that subscribe button and drop a like on the video if you guys enjoy. The kind of challenges for the pistols, right? They are cut in half or similar to the AR. I don't know if you guys like Nuketown, of course, but that's literally what I've just been grinding out. Partly because Nuketown is a really easy map to get your head around with the spawns, how they're flipping. The game modes you should be playing are the game modes that are in this Nuketown 24-7 rotation. As for the camos anyway themselves, the kills, they're self-explanatory and kills the headshots you just aim for the head or use an optic to help yourself crouching helps a lot as well um the bloodthirsties once again they're just self-explanatory you need to get five kills i basically kind of lurked and tend to camp sometimes i push depending on where i was in the map of course i was always aiming to push for the spawns so i could get the most kills maximize the amount of kills you know what i mean the long shots they weren't too bad they weren't too hard say for example you're in the garage in nuketown from there to the bus or the train in the middle is a long shot or the detecting enemies that was pretty self-explanatory run a field test mic run a stun and uh, run a uav and harp because that maximized the most I can't explain how important that score streak really is that score streak is really important trust me. behind cover kills i've done a video on nuketown if you guys want to go click that the link is in the description the behind cover kills they're not as hard as you guys think they are or people say they are it's it's just getting that opportunity to kill the campers basically behind a car behind a window finally the double kills the double kills hardcore super simple they are as fast as possible i can't stress you guys enough to use or play hardcore i don't like obviously nuketown the game modes recommendations are hardcore for both 1911 dmr as for the magnum right this is a tricky one for me it took the pain to get done and i'm not even kidding you it took the pain my suggestion for you guys is using dual magnum on core yep i know what you think it you're a schmuck for using that yep i know i am i'm not even kidding you this could be the new meta on freaking warzone soon to be fair because they are powerful as hell as for leveling up the weapon hardcore is very good game modes in general use completing the camos are 10 times better double xp make sure you guys are using the max amount of time to level up your weapons and yeah it's been a border keep smiling be yourself stay awesome if this has helped you guys let me know in down below in the comments and yeah subscribe new and i'll catch you guys in the next video adios